Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at the process of setting up your keyboard to control your external monitors built in speakers. So this is a problem I ran into and it really uh, you know, bothered me because I got this great monitor with decent speakers, but I can't control it with my keyboard. I just get this prohibitory sign that basically says, nope, you can't do it. So after doing some digging, finally came across a solution. It works pretty well. Uh, quick disclaimer, some people do say that it messes with other apps and things like that. I haven't run into that problem, but uh, if you follow along, you can see what it looks like and you can decide for yourself. So uh, first thing you're, you're going to want to do is download these uh, two uh, extensions. Well, one is an extension, one is an app. Basically Soundflower Bed and Sound Soundflower uh, DMG, which is basically a kernel extension. Uh, I'll have both of them in the description. So let's start off with the Soundflower one and then we'll do the bed second. The bed is just a app technically. All right. So this app is signed, but because it was developed before macOS Catalina came out, what you'll have to do is hold down the control key on your keyboard, right click on it, and then click open. Okay. That's very important because otherwise you're going to, uh, it's not going to let you install it because it'll say that it's not by a verified developer. All right. Well, let's go through the continue process and install. It'll ask you for your password. And once this is done installing, you're going to get an error message saying that the install failed. That's okay. All right, in my case, the installation was successful. In yours, if it's the first time installing, you will get a failure and that's normal. What you'll wanna do in that case is open up system preferences, go to security and privacy, go to general, and then here you'll get a warning that says, hey, uh, this extension is blocked click on the little lock here, put in your password, and then hit allow anyway, or allow. I don't remember what the exact terminology is, but that's basically what you do. All right, once you've got that out of the way, let's close these out and let's install the second portion of this, which is the Soundflower app. All right, with this guy, uh, what you can do is just open up your applications folder. All right, and drag it in. Okay, I'm gonna replace it. I already had one in there, but I'm gonna replace it in this case. All right, next up, now that we have that installed, what we wanna do is go into system preferences. Let's go to sound, and then output. For your output, you wanna choose the Soundflower 2 channel. All right, now that you get that selected, let's go to Soundflower bed. Uh, this says, hey, it's not uh, by a developer, it was downloaded. You can click open. If it gives you if it gives you any kind of warning saying that you can't open this, just hold the control key on your keyboard, click on it once, and then choose open, and then that'll open the app, okay? Uh, you also might have to make some gatekeeper changes. Uh, this is rare, I, don't, I haven't seen this happen, but if it does, back into security and privacy and uh, just enable app store and identify developers and then that control click option will work for you okay you can also check out my video on how to enable this anywhere feature because you that doesn't come up by default so you won't be able to have this anywhere button there but uh, that's it. only if you run into a problem will you have to do that and now that we have the soundflower app launched you want to make sure to be on the two channel option here you'll have your lg ultra wide or sony or samsung or whatever kind of monitor you have you'll choose that and then it'll output audio through there i'm changing the volume works normally like it would through your built-in speakers you'll have the options to do audio setup i haven't played around with this too much but essentially i've left everything as is here One other thing that you wanna do is add that Soundflower app to your startup item. So I'll show you how to do that. So this way you don't have to launch it every time the computer turns on, it'll automatically come on. Let's go to system preferences and then we'll go to uh, users and groups. All right, make sure you're on your user, login items, and then you can just uh, drag the Soundflower bed app into there and that will add it. If for whatever reason that doesn't work, you can just click on the plus here and then add the app that way. All right, that sums it up for today's video. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.